Okay, Virgo, welcome to your weekend love reading. Yay, it's the weekend for uh, May. Oh, God, what, I don't even know what today is. Um, wow, this weekend's going quick. So um, from the time I'm making this video all the way through May 22nd. Okay, guys, so, yep, if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on, the, on my video. That would greatly... Um, help get the videos out and the readings out to people and help my channel grow. Um, this is a Virgo channel only. So Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. As always, be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are below. Everything you need, all the links. If you want to join my channel, become a member, everything is below this video. All right, so we're going to take a look at the weekend, see what's coming up for you. For the next three days all right let's get started i feel like i had another message yeah also if you want to win a free uh video recorded reading with me um go over to the community tab here on my channel and there's a post there with the instructions and how you can enter to win all right let's get started virgo what are the love messages here for the weekend virgo sun moon rising venus I can't believe how fast this month has gone already. Crazy. All right. What's coming out? Come on. Oh, something popped out and then it popped back in. So we're not going to take that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and now they're just giving me a visual. Hold on. Let me connect. Let me connect. Okay. I'm seeing someone. I'm seeing a pool in a backyard. And someone is putting or blowing up big floaty things for the pool. Um, it looks like a male. Uh, I'm hearing preparing the pool. Preparing or preparing a pool for, I guess, for a weekend or uh, maybe a pool party. Um, I'm seeing a chain link fence. <laughs> um, and a very attractive man, but I can only see the, like, his back. Okay, very uh, quite um, dark skin color, um, muscular. Looks very nice, very very nice. Okay, I don't know what that means. Okay, wow, stabbed in the back. Didn't I just say I saw somebody's? I see somebody's back. Okay, hmm. Oh boy, so stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, uh, shocking attack. Okay, what the heck? What is this? What is going on here? Um, wedding rings. Union, wedding, m married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. What the? Okay. Hold on. I'm connecting. I'm connecting. And passion. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, all right, this is weird, but there it's attached to this image of this person, this male who's putting um like blow up rafts and things in a pool. Um It feels like this this person um they are I hate saying this, but um they're leaving the person that they're with. I hate, oh my goodness. The Ace of Cups. Okay. They're, 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 le they're leaving someone that either they're married to or that they're in some type of soul connection or a union or a promise was made. Maybe somebody um, went, you know, stabbed this person in the back or there was um, some deception or something. But it feels like Whoever this person is, um, they're following their passions, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. So whoever this person is, is doing something with a pool. Um, I feel like, you know, this person is, it, it's what's going through their head. It's what's going through their mind. Okay. Um, now, I don't like to be too specific because I, I, but they're giving me a very specific message. So I don't know if that's going to connect to you in any way or not, but if, it feels like there's somebody here, nine of wands. 
there's pushback. Somebody here um, is seeking new love in their life. Okay. How does this relate to you though? I don't know if you know this person. Okay. There's the nine of cups. Wow. Boundaries up. Somebody's saying you can't, somebody's saying to another person, you can't come into, you can't come to my party. <laughs> you can't come to my house. You, you're not allowed in because you stabbed me in the back or you did something. I don't feel like this person is talking to you, Virgo. Um, whoever this person is, you may not even know them. You may not have met this person yet, but it feels like this person. Okay. And, and for others, um, you know, it, it could be you for the males because I'm seeing a, a, a masculine. It could be you who's doing something with a pool or somewhere in a backyard and thinking to yourself, um, you don't, you don't want, you were connected with someone or you were, um, or you're having some kind of party or going to a party at, you were connecting with someone and you were with them and then they stabbed you in the back and they did something and and that person is trying to come back into your life and you're saying no you can't come in you can't come here okay let me pull away from that message okay i want to pull away from that message because i i really i feel like that's very specific for someone and i don't know why they're trying to show me this but i feel like something might be occurring over the weekend in regards to this that you you might need to know or you might need to pass on to another person that whoever um hurt another person um it could even be your friend to let them know that um i guess their ex is going to show up it's strange all right let me redo let's redo spirit okay let's get something for virgo all right let's see damn it heartbroken I don't know. Like sometimes they dictate to me how things are going to go. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Okay. Keys on a ring. Having many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along one night stand. Okay. And an engagement ring. Okay. You know what, Virgo? Honestly, this weekend... You're, you're, some of you are giving back keys. You're giving somebody their keys back. Okay. Somebody might have been stringing you along. Um, you're heartbroken. This weekend, I feel like you are, or you're either giving someone their keys back um, or you're asking for your keys back. You are. Hold on. You are. Um, Or some of you, there might have been like an engagement and um, somebody is making, something happened and I feel like you are, either you were engaged or you were in some kind of partnership or commitment with somebody um, that you thought that this was going to be, you know, your person and I, I just feel like you're putting the final kibosh on something here over the weekend. Okay, so for some of you, this could be someone from your past who's trying to come back in and something might have happened. Maybe there was some separation. And so giving the keys back could be an actual thing and for other, or getting the keys back. But for others, this is symbolic of like passing the, the torch here. Like, no, it's done. Here's your records. Here's all your stuff. Here's your sweater. It's been hanging in my closet. I feel it's 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 either an actual thing or it's it's symbolic of like cutting that final string. Okay, you're cutting the final string. This is what I feel like is going on here. Okay, uh, this reading seems to want to talk about you. Okay, this wants to talk about you. Okay, um, and yesterday's reading we did have somebody was trying to come back in. Or the, for those who have a past fire sign coming back in. And um, I remember I was telling you this person was coming through changed and ready. And some of you may be declining the offer. And at the end of the reading, if you didn't listen to it, go back. It was yesterday's reading. It said that um, to be meticulous and choice with your words if you're going to break something off. And I feel like this is the message here. Okay. You are... 
you're giving the ring back, you're giving the keys back, literally or figuratively, you're, you're declining. You're saying no because you're just disappointed. You're heartbroken, okay? You're, you're feeling lost. You're tired of being in a mourning position or tired of grieving someone. And then it's like you've had enough, some of you, with somebody coming back and then they come back and then make all these promises and then they don't follow through. There's a lack of follow through. Somebody, you might have been dealing with somebody who was very much like a people pleaser, who they would just, would always say yes to everything, but never follow through with things. And, um, okay, look at you. You have the lovers. You're looking for true love. Some of you are going to say uh, yes to the new love from yesterday's reading, okay? Because there's a connection here, a beautiful partnership to form. Let's take a look. Your... Virgo, also, the lovers can be about loving self as well and seeking higher love. Um, they just gave me that very... Old, see, I get old songs come to my mind. There was a, a singer back in the late 80s, early 90s. His name was... Oh, it was called the Steve Winwood Band. And the song was called Higher Love, right? Send me a higher love. I feel like that's something here with you. Yeah. There's something here with you. It's like, oh, I deserve better. I know what I need. I know what I deserve. And I'm not going to uh, take less than that. Someone's in and out energy up and, you know, um, a yes man or a yes woman. Yes, we'll do this. Yes. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, someone who is kicking the can forward or saying they were going to get, you guys are going to get engaged. You're going to get together or come, you know, they were going to commit or something and kicking the can forward and having you chase that can. And then every time you get to the can, then they would be like, no, 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 just a little more time. A lot of you are just like, no, this is for those of you who this energy pops up over the weekend and you're out you're out of here okay yep you have new plans virgo you've got plans you've got mind your money on mind on your money and your money on your mind you're you know look you're you you're ready for the good news give me the good news i want the good news i want love i want i want a partnership i want divine union that's I, it's something deep something real uh, where two people, you know, find each other and, and, you know, despite any complications or complex relationship or anything like that, two people who are making the decision to be together, okay, that, that strength and that bond. So I just feel like a lot of you, whether you're going to actually hand the keys over to somebody or give that ring back or just in your mind you're cutting that final cord you're doing it some of you might have been doing some cord cutting okay oh you've got the emperor you've got okay you've got somebody coming in here somebody or you're looking for this Okay, the emperor is a leader. This is alpha energy. This is someone who sticks with their word. This is what you're looking for. Okay, um, you're ready here with the world. New chapter. Wow, the whole horizon is opening up before you. The clouds are parting over the weekend. I see it. Okay, um, this is Aries energy. We also have Gemini energy. Whatever, whoever, it's it's energy. It's not really a person. It's energy. The court cards would be more of a person, and if the court cards show up, then we'll address it. But with this major arcana, you have three major arcana, and the Page of Pentacles is intentional. You're intentionally thinking forward. Um, it's a, it's a page, so it's like new. It's newness. You're being very patient. You're. I feel like this weekend, you know, I can let this go. I'm patient and I'm ready, you know, and I'm ready for a new start, new maybe even a new job. You know, I'm raising my vibrations here. I'm thinking logically, but I'm thinking tangible. Is that a word? Tangibly. I'm thinking about real results here, what's going on in your life, right? So this weekend... Um, Wow, I don't feel like somebody's coming in and cutting the cord with you or handing something back to you, you know, or, you know, giving back your records, <laughs> you know, like, I, I feel like you're the one who's initiating this. All right, let me see. Okay, you got the nine of swords. It's stressful. Okay, it's stressful. Um, the moon in reverse, you've got that clarity though. And what's the clarity here? You're realizing, I feel for a lot of you that whatever you're ending here with somebody was causing you extreme anxiety and stress you know and that and that with that moon if you were doing any like setting your intentions with the um 
the eclipse on the 16th, things are starting to be revealed to you with the moon in reverse. Okay, this is um, seeing things very clearly. Okay, um, the truth being revealed. Your anxiety and your stress that you've been feeling and that you've been dealing with um, were coming from somebody who was um, in the past um, giving you a hard time. You know, anybody who's in your life that's coming into your life or that's people bring benefit to each other, right? They make our days better. That, that's what we do for other people when we love somebody and that's what they do in return for us when they love us, right? The anxiety and the stress you've been feeling for such a long time in a past past particular relationship or past connections a lot of that was coming to coming is coming to a head now and you're realizing I don't really have some kind of problem this person is the problem you know it's like having a splinter buried deep in your skin that you can't find or see it's like a tiny little grain but it is irritating and it's becoming uh, it's getting so more and more sore every day the longer it remains there and I feel like once you're able to remove that splinter in your side or th that has just been gaining momentum in overpowering your body and infecting you and getting into your head and, and toxicity that it's causing I, I feel like you f you you locate that splinter over that weekend and you're like you know what it's not me it's the source that's that's like a leech that's been on you <laughs> you're cutting it out cutting it out so that you can recover and heal and and put yourself in a position um, to find or to attract I want to say and to cultivate a loving harmonious relationship with someone okay so it's all about letting go this is what I feel like you're cutting the cord 100% you know um, and and it's not I'm not predicting that you're gonna have like extreme anxiety I'm uh, I'm seeing that the, the revelation that's coming to you here during this time is it's not me it's you mother effer <laughs> it's not me it's you you're the one with the problem you're the one that kept saying yes but you really meant no because you couldn't say no for whatever reasons right look at this you've got the sun joyousness positivity happiness being in that warm glow i mean i know this might be hard for some of you to let go of the hope but the hope is dangerous the hope is what's keeping you tied to someone you have to take a look at the facts of the situation you know sometimes it's not about chemistry sometimes it's just about compatibility but you wanted somebody so much they wanted you so much but you guys weren't compatible for some reason or um, what I was feeling like someone that you were dealing with was very much like codependent which or people pleasing which can be very controlling controlling the narrative of a relationship and, and you're like F this I'm out I'm done I don't see any bloody stumps and I'm done and so this feels like this feels like you're breaking you're cutting it with somebody else I don't feel like somebody is breaking up with you like even if a relationship ended you're it feels like you're having the final say in this right so if somebody ended something with you and you they didn't ask if you would agree to severing the contract or the commitment you just had no choice you do have a choice just because somebody made a move to end something it doesn't mean you know you sit there I was thinking of that um, Seinfeld episode where George Costanza was breaking up with his girlfriend and she said no no we're not breaking up no just because you want the breakup doesn't mean I do so I'm I'm not allowing you to break up with me that I mean it's a sitcom but not that that's not the way you have the choice and to say okay this person is not following through or they're not ending it but they keep holding on but they're no nowhere to be found really and they're they ghost a lot or they block or they hover or whatever you have the choice now to say no you can't come back okay even if they do end it with you or they did end it with you in the past your free agency and your will and your choice is to say um actually i'm breaking up with you okay bye bye <laughs> reclaiming that power right it's a bold move it's a bold move 
but it's it's a survivor mood it's it, a mode it's not a victim mode it, it's not a victim mode it's it's saying okay you're breaking up with are you're ending this with me hmm, okay i agree see ya sayonara <laughs> so i see you getting into a much more happier joyous position especially over this weekend i don't know i just feel look at that nine of cups oh my goodness this is such joy and happiness this is like you know good mental health good emotional health i feel coming for you wishes coming true for some of you this is something you've been wanting to do for a long time but maybe you were doubting yourself or you weren't sure you just had a fear of being alone or fear of being without somebody you know um it, 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 for some of you it might be a case of the you know the devil you don't know or the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know right because there's a familiarity in um the bad relationship you may have been in um that's so perfectly normal to feel that way and once you could say to yourself you know i don't even have to be with anybody maybe i'm okay maybe i'm better on my own than i am in this relationship you know there's a lot of revelation and clarity coming here and i feel like some of you are you know in your mind severing the connection and accepting you know it's just saying uh, that's it you're gonna have to accept that um you might so for some of you, you it's like you i feel somebody here is thinking of this person and saying okay well they left so it must be over and then they show back up again and this might be kind of a, a cycle that happens the break occurs when you don't let that person back in unless they got their bloody stumps right so virgo <laughs> you have the power you know, you have the illusion of power here in this situation to trick your mind into believing that, yeah, you know, it is done. Let me see what else is going on for you. Okay, yesterday you did have new love coming in. So if you're feeling a little um, discouraged, um, go back to yesterday's reading. Uh, there's a love offer coming in and get yourself a little more pumped up. Again, here you are. Three of Pentacles. Okay, you're taking your losses, any losses that you might feel, whatever your losses are, you're taking them and you and <laughs> this basically feels to me like the bricks that were thrown at you, <clears throat> the bricks that were thrown at you, you're taking them and you're, you're playing with them and you're juggling them um, and you're going to build yourself a brand new home, right? You're going to build your, your, your castle with bricks of pain. That you've received okay you're getting rid of all uh these um uh, you're getting rid of three of them and you're keeping two and you're using them to your benefit and you're balancing yourself out with them and it's kind of like looking at that relationship and saying to yourself you know i i see you doing this saying to yourself okay what did i get out of this what benefit what silver lining was there and then focusing on that and using that to rebuild and grow um I want to take a look at this yesterday it was a fire sign it was a king of wands i want to see what this king of wands this 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 new person coming in what the energy is with this person because it felt pretty good okay there's a king of wands it felt pretty good with this person coming in okay look and there's you virgo okay Let's see. Remember I was saying yesterday, if you didn't listen, listen, um, that this person was <clears throat> um, really focusing on their finances and career. But here now, we also have them kind of like, they're waiting for the right time to initiate something with you here, this new person, okay? This feels very much like a new person. Let me see. Initiating new talks, new ideas, new plans here. Okay. King of Pentacles. Yeah. So, Virgo, I feel like that's your energy. And, um, you know, fire and earth go go pretty good together, I, I always feel. Um, for some of you, this is an Aries. Could also be a Leo. Um, we'll see if Sagittarius shows up. But, I, look. Two of Cups. There you go. So, for some of you, this, this is like... This is your person that's coming in here, okay? 
this is what I'm feeling. Um, there's a meeting of the minds that's happening here, mutual agreement, uh, looking at each other and seeing you're on the same page. Look at how they're very even. I just heard even flow from Pearl Jam. Uh, look at how they, they look directly into each other's eyes. They connect. They toast. You know, it, it's like it's almost like a meeting each other for the first time and like a spark is made. Okay, this is very beautiful energy. Okay, there's that three of pentacles like I was saying yesterday. This person is, um, they're a student of life, always wanting to learn and they have that in common with you. Okay, um, they like to study, they like to learn things, they like to build, they like to create. Um, this person might be a teacher, maybe they're a professor, or they're a student. Um, this person, very intellectual, but very practical and grounded. Let's see. Oh, I love it. I love this energy for the weekend. Yep, here you go. Two aces with this person. No aces with that other person. Two aces with this person. Golden opportunity coming towards you. This is being sent from up above. And so is the Ace of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords is all about the intellect. And, and it's about communication. Okay? Um, new ideas. Okay? This person, you know, I feel like this is not somebody who runs away from conflict. You know? Um, they stand up. Okay, and if there's a problem, they seek to resolve the problem. They don't run away from problems. This is someone you can depend on. And that emperor energy that was there, that's exactly what that is. The, you know, male or female energy. This is someone who, um, they, they, res they, they show respect. They have leadership ability. They're very strategic and they like to plan the future. Okay, they have like um, a, a very um, parental way about them, so they're very protective but nurturing. Okay, um, the person might have children as well, but I just feel like they come across as someone that is well respected. Okay, now I just saw the King of Cups, so I feel like this person has um, uh, they're very deeply attached to their emotions. Okay, now we do have three kings on the table here, so. You guys, you need to understand something because I'm going to say this. Yesterday, there was one person who was the King of Wands showing up, but now they're telling me options, <laughs> other options are showing up besides. It. It's like you, you have like choice here, you know, now, as soon as you are done with this past relationship, all of a sudden, remember I said the sky opens up, it's raining men, girl, <laughs> or it's raining girl, men, girls, men women it's raining women guys <laughs> uh, all of a sudden this is beautiful this is beautiful there's, a, there's quite a few options here for you but we were looking at the king of wands so that feels very strong you are looking amazing and that's you're attracting this into your life that's all because you're making that decision you're cutting that cord and i see you doing this with a star you're like um you're a superstar da -na 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 -na. Do, 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 do. You're, is that the song? Not you're a superstar. You're a... You guys know the song. It's called um, Ghetto Superstar, I think. You're a... I can't remember. Why can't I never remember the words? That's the song. That's what I feel like. And when you die on each other. Oh, oh, oh. From one hour to another. Oh, oh. That's an that's a old school. That's an old school song. Okay. <gasps> oh, damn. Remember I said we're waiting for Sagittarius to show up? There you go. So you've got Leo, you've got Aries, and you've got Sagittarius. Very strong. I feel like a fire sign is going to be coming your way first. Okay. These other two, uh, for some of you, the King of Pentacles could be a past person. It could also be the King of Cups could be a past person. Um, I, I just don't feel prominent energy with them. Okay, um, and I don't feel prominent, prominent energy with these two others, this water and this earth sign, as far as coming toward you first. The, the king of wands, I'm feeling like this magnetic pull with the king of wands. Okay, very much. 
Do you know this person? I don't, you know, let's ask. I don't feel like you do, right? Okay, they're just saying no. That because of these aces, this is new. This is brand new. Okay, got the death card. So, yep, transformation. And out with the old and in with the new. You're on your way, Virgo. I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. So, you've got the six of swords. Just when I said you're on your way. You're facing it. You're facing your fears. You're getting out of dodge. Some of you are relocating. You're moving. You're, you know, selling the house. You're, out, you're done with this. You've done everything you possibly could do. You've put in your best effort. You've tried. You've tried to express your needs in the past. You've tried to express what you wanted. Um, you weren't getting your needs met or somebody was gaslighting and they just were not, you know, um, or they were, you know, saying they were going to do it and then not. Do, you're just you're done with that energy. You're done, okay? Some talk. It was very toxic, and you're you're done with that toxicity, okay? You get you got that. You're getting that splinter out, and uh, here you go. New options are showing up for you. Excitement, so much excitement, love and attention. All right, they're just telling me. Hold on, hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me, Virgo. All right. They want to give you some love messages. What is the love messages? Feelings, love messages, anything you can show us, anything you can show Virgo. Spirit, anything you can show Virgo. Okay. You got a second chance. The relationship deserves a second chance, but it comes with a warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Very strong message is about your past person. Past person might be trying to come in with this, ask for a second chance with you. We saw that yesterday's reading. Um, don't dismiss any red flags there might, that might be showing up, okay? Because I feel like some of you, um, you know, you are making the decision. And of course, as the way life goes, when you end something and somebody feels that you're leaving them, or they, they can feel you pulling away, what happens? They wind up, this person especially, probably has a habit of leaving and coming back when they think that they're, you're right on the brink of walking, you got your foot out the door and they start sensing it. They don't think you're going to do it. And then you're doing it. And now like, oh, can we just try again? You have another chance to do it right this time. And they start kicking the can forward or, you know, maybe a third chance or a fourth chance or a fifth chance. And how many goddamn chances? I mean, come on. Enough is enough. Right. That's the red flag here. Okay, watch out for this because this energy is going to come up. It, it came up yesterday in the reading. It's going to show up again here. Okay. Crazy. I feel you even though we are apart. See, I told you. Okay, as soon as you get your foot out the door, as soon as you start walking, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to... Why am I singing? I'm not even a singer. I play guitar, but I, I just the singing. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. Ghetto superstar, that is what you are. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Some of you feel like your past person <laughs> was nothing but a ghetto superstar. <laughs> I don't even know what the lyrics are. I don't even know what that song means. I just had the, the song coming into my into my head. Okay. Let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And there you go. This is your soulmate. We did have twin flame yesterday. The twin flame could be a past person. Um, twin flame relationships. I think there's 144,000 twin flame relationships here on earth at any given time. Um, they're very rare and very difficult sometimes to deal with because they make you face yourself the soulmate is beautiful the soulmate is just we blend the soulmate is like we have no expectations of each other we're good you know we can build friendship that the twin flame thing can be really challenging i feel like this king of wands is coming in here and this is someone new if you have been involved with the king of wands in the past this is not them okay this is another fire sign Okay. And this person is showing up very differently. If you're, if you had a fire sign that was, um, a difficult relationship in the past, that might've been a twin flame thing. Okay. That's not this person. 
Now listen, if you still want your past person back, I think a lot of deep reflection needs to go into that situation over the weekend. I feel like because it is coming with a warning, somebody who wants a second chance. And I feel like, you know, I don't know. Let me let me check and see what is this warning here with this person from the past with this second chance wanting to come back. What is the red flag? What is the warning that um, Virgo needs to pay attention to or Virgo needs to know? Because it looks pretty darn like red flag central. Tower. It speaks for itself. This person's intention is just to keep destroying, to break you down. Okay? So I think for those of you who are hoping to have this particular very toxic relationship back, that's danger. That's a danger zone for you. Okay? Because for someone, you know, it's not that it can't, things can't be healed, but both people got to want to do it. And, the, and a lot of work goes into that. And you got to ask yourself, are you committed to the work it's going to take, the heartache? Um, because not only do you have a history of pain, but you could possibly set yourself up to create more with somebody or they could create more in your future are you willing to really go through this like it's a heavy duty commitment and i'm not telling you not to do it if that's something that you want to do okay you like i said i'm not your i'm not your mom so you got to make your own decisions here um but just make sure you don't dismiss any red flags that come up keep your eyes open for that there's warning bells with that okay so you've got the hierophant here so this is conventional expectations and conformity why are they showing me this here okay all right they're just giving me um i want a lover with a slow hand is what they're saying um tell them virgo to Find a lover that has a slow hand. That's what this Knight of Pentacles energy feels like to me. Somebody who consistently over time builds a very strong uh, union with you. Okay. Committed partnership, a blessed union with you. Okay. Something sacred, something that's divinely guided, something that is... Um, I'm hearing two people indoctrinating, um, having a spiritual belief, okay? That could be religious, it could be, you know, whatever, a higher power, or just two people who are not in a position at Vigo. They both, well, it feels like, okay. And they're giving me another message here. I, I don't know who, if this is connected to a new person or past person, but somebody's definitely going to be making an offer to you, okay? Um, it's not just love, though, because I feel like yesterday's reading was a love offer, but this feels more like marriage in front and at, with witnesses and, and doing something righteously. So it could be in a church. Um, you know, somebody making a bona fide true blue offer, somebody, uh, uh, um, it's, it's traditional. It feels like it's a very traditional, you know, down on one knee and then going through all the process of a traditional to get to, to get to the chapel or you know what I mean? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, for some, this is someone who's very religious. Okay. Um, in whatever area, but it's not. It's not religion as it's like condemning kind of thing. This person comes through very spiritual. They may be very, they may be just plain spiritual now, but they may have like a, a religious background, but they don't, you know, attend church or things like that. But they have this, um, they have this background in spiritual beliefs and traditional beliefs. Okay. So they're saying, seek that. Or, or open yourself up to that I guess that's maybe some kind of advice for you right um, you don't want to take someone who just is like a jellyfish and 
you know, um, their mind is so open that the brains fall the fuck out all the time, you don't want that person. You want someone that has conviction or someone that stands for something and they'll stand up for you. You know, they have a belief system, okay? Um, healing. Healing energy. Renewal, right? And then you've also got, look, the fool. So a, a brand new beginning is what I feel. This is the energy. This is like a new journey in your life here with, with someone very, very special. <clears throat> it has the potential to be very, very special. All right. Let me leave this here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we get a couple other messages here for you, Virgo. As Aquarius, we have Taurus, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all signs, um, Virgo. You know what? I didn't see any Capricorn. That might be significant. Okay. Why would that Capricorn... <gasps> oh, M, G, I can't even believe this. I will give you the moon and the stars, Virgo. The moon and the stars. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You will be guided through the darkness. A long journey ahead brings rewards. The greatest rewards you could ever hope to receive. The moon and the stars. This this is what this person will tell you. This new person, I will bring you the moon and the stars. I will go up there and I will pluck the stars out of the sky. And I will just put a rope on that moon and pull it down and give it to you. Wow. This is talk about devotion. This is pure devotion. Okay. I will give you the moon and the stars. I love this. I mean, that is so gorgeous. I can't stop looking at this. I, it just feels like what the happily ever after. I mean, it's so cliche, but this is what it feels like. And there you go. Fire. I'm telling you, it's a fire sign. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Well, that's that fire sign. Passion. This person is going to take you on a whirlwind adventure in your life. And it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be reckless at times. <clears throat> this person is going to pull you out of uh, the, your little hermit cave or your hermit shell that you've been in. That you've been in anxiety and you haven't been able to move. And you haven't been able to speak. And your person was stifling you because they were trifling. That, and that's what I feel like the energy was with, with whoever this past person is. Kept you so stuck. There you go. They were a harlequin, okay? The feelings are masked. This person just wore a mask, a false mask. The past person. Yeah, you, you got some... I mean, listen, don't get so bogged down over the weekend that you don't enjoy yourself. You know, if you got plans and you're doing something and, you, you know, you're doing something exciting or just relaxing, like... Just know who you are, Virgo, and see the situation. If someone was being harsh to you or treating you with disrespect and not treating you well, let that go. Get your hope back again with someone new. Your dreams can con come true. Your hope, faith, and wishes will be restored, Virgo. Make a wish right now and believe it's yours. And that's the star. And we had the star. And the moon, right? Somebody in your past might have, you know, given you the impression or implied that they were going to give you the moon and the stars, but they never came through for you. They didn't follow through. Somebody will. And somebody's showing up here who will. You just got to believe. <laughs> you just got to believe. But don't put your hope and your, all your eggs in, in a basket that somebody's just going to keep cracking and breaking those eggs. Put your hope in your, put your hope in higher power and spirit but, and tell yourself, you know what, I trust. And, you know, God's got my back and he's going to bring to me the person that he feels is meant for me. I will never miss the person that's meant for me, ever. 
is impossible. Family, celebrations, wedding, and engagement party. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I, you know, my voice gets crackly. So family, this is the four of wands. <coughs> I might be going to a reunion or something. Um, even with the engagement card or something that you were hoping for, the struggle's over, okay? With that person, right? And now you can celebrate. Some of you are just going to do the divorce thing and have a damn party to celebrate that you're finally getting away from or you're getting out of a, a relationship that wasn't healthy. And sorry, it's a you should have a you should have a celebration for that. You're you're graduating. You're standing up for yourself. You should if you're a, you know what? If you make a decision over this weekend, are you come to the conclusion that that's something that you want to do? <clears throat> when you do it, go on the computer and create yourself a, uh, um, <laughs> a diploma or a degree that you've passed the tests and that you've graduated from that. Reward yourself if you're ending something because it takes so much strength and and fortitude and bravery to let go of the hope of something that you thought could be and saw so much potential and had such a strong heart for another person who was not able or was not capable to meet your needs let them go with love and then that love redirects back to you and then celebrate have a party for yourself i've got like a frog of some sort stuck in my throat. I can just feel it. Um, all right, they're just telling me to give you some moonology messages here, and then I'm going to end your reading because this is just for the weekend. Okay, wow, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough, Virgo. You are good enough. You are worth every single morsel to another person. And, and you are worth good love. You are worth healthy love. You are, you are valuable. You are important. And you are wonderful. And all the hard work you... Look, there you go. There's your Capricorn card. All the hard work that you have put in will be paying off now. You'll see the results. What happens when we graduate? we can now move on to bigger and better things so give yourself that graduation ceremony invite your family your friends okay some of you might actually be going to a wedding or an engagement party or some type of family reunion or celebration over the weekend go have fun <coughs> um i just said bring love into the situation so if you're ending something, remember I said yesterday there was meticulous with your words, choice words, okay? End it with love. New moon and Aquarius energy here. End it with love. Um, that kind of conversation that goes, you know, I love you and I have a beautiful, or I have a, um, a very deep, you have a very special place in my heart and you always will, but um, I don't think that this is we can continue this is just not good for me and I'm, I'm moving forward with my life i'm not going to pursue this relationship anymore and i'm opening myself up to to somebody who um, who can be a partner with me in life you know um do it with love walk away if you're planning to walk away with your dignity with dignity and respect for self okay no crazy don't get crazy on anybody don't you know don't do anything but just say no thank you. Take care. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> I do feel like though somebody's going to, you know, whoever this person is, we'll do a reading for that another time. But I think that's kind of been showing up a lot. I, I just feel like you've got somebody from your past who, you know, you let it go. And right when you think you're done, they show back up in your life in some way. And then you're like, why are you here? And they're like, well, I missed you. Or I was thinking about you. Or I just want to see how you're doing. You know, and it's like, if, the, if somebody knew how you felt about them and that the, the reason why you were in the relationship to whatever degree with them is because you were you had deep feelings for them and you wanted to progress something forward and they knew that but they still 
kept coming back to <laughs> not follow through with anything, knowing how you felt, that's cruelty. And the inability to say no or to turn around and say to you, you know, I do love you, but I am not, I can't do this. And I want to let you go and I'm going to stop cock blocking or pussy blocking. I'm going to stop doing that so that you can find someone that you deserve, you know, um, because it's cruelty. And sometimes people won't have the energy or the, the, the bravado to just stand up and say that. And hell, I've seen drug addicts do that stuff. They were just like, I can't be in this relationship. I do love you, but I can't let go of my Coke, you know, I, I've, and, and they let you go. You know what I mean? But sometimes you have to be the one to just like step back and take, you know, take off your, your, your emotional glasses that shut off that emotional brain and look at this thing logically, like how much time has passed and you are still holding on and waiting and begging your life how much time do you think we have here Virgo your life is passing you by get out there and start living and loving and how and living your life right I feel like this weekend is going to be profound and it I do feel like it has it has something to do with that full moon eclipse even if you didn't get a chance to set your intentions or even if you just watched it it's powerful and it's had a powerful effect on a lot of people and that mercury retrograde that we're in until june 2nd is bringing all that shit up this is the time to harness that retrograde and really take a look because things are going to start coming up to you and coming up to the surface and like i said in the beginning of the reading i feel like a lot of you are going to start taking a look and saying i'm not it's not me babe it's you it's not me it's you and taking that blame off yourself and putting it where it belongs not that blame is the way to do things but it's like taking a logical look and saying you know i gave i gave i gave my best and there's nothing more i can do and part ways if that's your choice if that's what you're going to do because i feel like you know i'm not i know it's a general reading and i know i'm not talking to every single person here but somebody here listening i feel like this message is for you and maybe it's just like a little gift or a little pump up for the weekend for you to get yourself reconciled to the fact that it has nothing to do with this person not loving you because I feel like whoever they were, they definitely did. They definitely loved you. They just couldn't get themselves to act on that. And that doesn't mean that they don't love you. It could have a lot of reasons why somebody couldn't, you know, um, it could have been fear based um insecurity issues low self-esteem um whole host of other things obstacles like we saw here unhealed wounds blocking forward movement so whatever those wounds are definitely you know just go knowing and i'm telling i'm telling you here as your reader this person whoever they were loved you they did it may not have felt like it but they did Okay, and then whoever's coming in here new, which does feel like a king of wands, male or female energy, embrace it, at least for the weekend. All right, love you guys. I'll see you later. Take care.